Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you four steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the option one with the headline and the detailed text along with the icon. And when I click, it will show you the step two, then the third step and the fourth step. And if you have the space, you can make it six also so let's see how to create this four step infographic slide in powerpoint add a new slide and go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle and using this arrow just rotate it and bring this side if you want you can rotate further increase the height and reduce the width Then go to insert shapes, select the rounded corner rectangle and make the height as maybe 2.1 and the same width. Press Ctrl D this particular rectangle and bring this side and I'm just going to remove the outline make it no outline and i'll give some different color and bring it exactly something like this and this bottom part i'm going to remove and i'm just going to increase the size of this and i will select this green rectangle and then the blue go to merge shape just say subtract and you can just reduce the size uh, further and put it here and then press ctrl d go to rotate you can say flip vertical and then rotate 90 degrees and add it here at the bottom Maybe you can just give uh, some space there and you can give some different color. Press Ctrl D and put it this side and Ctrl D at this side here. Maybe you can just rotate a little bit. So this is the basic design is ready now. I'm going to select this particular line, press Ctrl D to duplicate and bring the other side, increase the width, right mouse click, go to format shape and under fill, select gradient fill. I'm going to keep it only two stops. So the first stop I'm going to select a black color and you can change the direction from this side and then here I'm going to select white color and I'm going to make the transparency to 100% and this also you can increase the transparency level and go to format shape outline make it no outline for this also make it no outline and you can give some light color and select this bring it this side you can see here that uh, shadow is there if you want to give more shadow you can just increase a little bit so you can see here the shadow effect has been created and then I'm just going to select this and give some different colors and I'll select this and I'm going to give some a different color here. The next thing is to add the numbers here for that go to insert text box I will just say 01 make it center aligned and change the font to your 
favorite font maybe i'm going to use this century gothic increase the size make it bold and bring it the center and i'm going to change the font color to white press ctrl d to duplicate this is two ctrl d this will be three and ctrl d this will be four and then you can add your text here before adding the text let me just group this press ctrl g to group it i'll select this to ctrl g then this and this and select both of this go to format just say send to back so let me add the text for each option you can go to insert text you can type your headline here headline 01 again i'm going to change the font to century gothic if you want you can make it bold and give the same color which is green and then i'm going to insert one more text which is the detailed text i will just type equals lorem within brackets it will give me some latin text i'm going to reduce the size and add it here and this color i'm going to give it some gray and if you want you can add some icons also so let me just select this format align and left press ctrl g to group ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to add one here ctrl d I will just ungroup it and then I will align both at the right align right and this also I will go to home and right aligned press ctrl G to group it so this is for this one and ctrl D to duplicate and this is for this and if you want to move this all you can just press ctrl a and using the arrow key you can move your right or up or down and then i'm just going to change the color this will be a purple and this is three and this will be orange and this will be two and then this will be pink and this will be four so the last step is to add the animation go to animations enable the animation pane select this and i'm going to give the animation which is go to more entrance effect i will just select zoom and click ok and then select this text i will give a wipe effect and this should happen from left and it should happen after previous so if i play this will come and the text will come there then i'm going to select this animation painter i'm going to put it for two not the line sorry i'll just select this and select click here so this is for second and this text animation painter so instead of uh, left it should start from right then i'm going to select this animation painter and the text after that Then I'll select the second one and apply it to fourth. And the same goes with the text. I'll select this and click it here. So let's see how it looks in the slideshow. When I click, it will show you the first, then second, third and fourth.
that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye